Dan Perry here with part 34 of our TCP IP basics trace route. Now we'll introduce you to and we'll demonstrate the use of the trace route utility. Well, what is trace route or trace RT? Well, the trace route utility is a uh, utility that comes with basically all of your operating systems. It's a command line utility and it is used to trace or see what path a packet will take to get from one location to another, from your source to a destination. Uh, trace RT is the Windows version of the trace route. Cisco uses the trace for it. Uh, different operating systems will use different options in their implementation, but they all use the ICMP Echo like the ping command does in order to implement trace. <clears throat> now, the way it works is it modifies the time to live for each packet so that messages or packets are undeliverable. Because they're undeliverable, undeliver the router will send an ICMP error message to the sender, and when that becomes undeliverable, <clears throat> that allows your system to identify the router at each step of the game because each time you go it goes through it starts with a time to live of one and moves or increments its time to live to two three four so each time it goes through an additional router you'll get an ICMP error message from it and you'll be able to identify that router now <clears throat> some devices do not respond to ICMP echo some are blocked. Sometimes a firewall blocks all ICMP traffic. So you may not get the results you're hoping for. The basic syntax of the trace route command, uh, you can get your options uh, with the help slash question mark for the help. Now one option that's used and we'll be using it in our demo some is the dash D that says don't resolve addresses to host names. If you don't use that, once you have an IP address of each router, it will go and it will try to use the DNS system to find a host name from that IP address. <clears throat> That's a slow process, so after we do one demonstration using it or without it, the rest will turn that on so that we get our responses much quicker. The dash H will let you modify the uh, maximum number of hops. That's normally 30. Um, that's typically okay, but if you had some uh, traffic that were taking a lot, of, going through a lot of routers, you might want to adjust that. Um, the dash J uh, will let you lose the source routing. Uh, lists on, you know, it, it's a, an IP version four option. You probably will never use that option. Uh, slash W is a timeout in milliseconds. How long before you time out and say, okay, this is this host is dead? Uh, the capital R uh, does the trace of the round trip path. It's an IP version six command. Same with the dash capital S. Uh, you can also, if you're running both four and six, you can force it to use four or six by using a dash 4 or a dash 6. That's going to become more important in the future as we start using IP version 6 more. Okay, first I'm going to do the trace route with a slash question mark to show you the help. And here you can see the help screen for it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a trace route of a my local router on my machine, and I'm not using the dash D. Uh, so when I run it, it seems a little slow in coming up. Then it comes up, and it's only going to be the one hop. But you can see it pausing there before it gave the IP address of the machine. What it was trying to do was get a name for that one. Well, let's do this again with another machine on my local area network, and I'll do the 9, which I happen to know is another machine there, and essentially the same thing's happening. It's going through, and now it's trying to resolve that name. It can't because neither of those have a name in DNS. Now, let me clear the screen, and next I'm going to uh, go, and I'm going to go to a website off of my network, 
uh, I'm going to do it first without the dash D, and I'm not going to let it finish on that. I'm going to let it just go through two or three hops, and as I do, you'll see it's going to the first one, that router that it first went to, my router. See the pause, the wait. <clears throat> You're, now it's getting response. It's not getting actually a response from the next router. That router's got ICMP echo turned off. So the request timed out, but then the third router in line, it's getting a response and so on. Now I'm going to break out of this, and now I'm going to go ahead and let me clear the screen again so that we can see everything up the top, and I'm going to do this with the dash D, and I'll let this play out. Notice that first one came up much faster. <coughs> Excuse me. The second one, there's a delay because that one's not responding or not alive. The third one should come up much faster again because it's not trying to resolve a name to these routers, only the IP address. And as it goes through, it takes 11 hops to get to the server that has danhperry.com on it. And I could do that with some other websites as well. Uh, let's go to uh, northeaststate.edu with the dash D. <clears throat> and again, we start seeing that some hops, the second one always is not responding. It's going to time out. Then we'll get through a few routers. And as we do... We get through those, and we're eventually going to, I think, come to another router that doesn't respond. Maybe I'm wrong now. Okay, here it is. Another router that doesn't respond. And then finally, the last few hops before it gets there, and it took 19 hops to get to that location. Now I'm going to run that one more time and I won't clear the screen first. I'll just go ahead and let it run and start scrolling up without the dash D and you're going to see it's going to try to find names so it's going to take longer to run in this case. And now through the magic of being able to pause the video, we have the results, and you can see that several of the um, routers it went through do have names, strange looking names, uh, some of them tell something about it. This AE5, AR4, the ATL indicates to me that that's located in Atlanta, and then again this ATT Georgia, GA, I'm thinking is Georgia. The CHLNC, I'm, I'm guessing, again, is Charlotte, North Carolina. And then we get into the Net10 uh, routers, which are part of the network that the uh, Northeast State it happens to be on. <clears throat> so you're seeing here uh, what the output is with it resolving where it can those host names. Next time we're going to look at the ARP command.